Elahes Latour Guahan is back from recess. Majority Leader Nelson, you are recognized. Si Madam Speaker, notwithstanding the House rules, I move to go back to motions. You are recognized. On the motion, are there any objections? You may proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I move to place the nomination of David J. N. Camacho to serve as member retired teacher representative of the Guam Academy Charter School Council onto the session agenda. On the motion, are there any objections? Hearing no objections, motion passes. Majority Leader Nelson, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I move to place the nomination of Dr. Lisa Coopernurs to serve as a member EDD representative of the Guam Commission for Educator Certification onto the session agenda. Are there any objections? Motion passes. Majority Leader Nelson, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm going to yield to my colleague, Senator Pito Terlahi. Sidious Masi. Senator Terlahi, you are recognized. Good morning, colleague. Madam Speaker, thank you very much. I move to place the nomination of Kyle Anthony G. DeHilic to serve as a member of the Youth Representative of the Guam Regional Transit Authority Board of Directors on the session agenda. On the motion, are there any objections? Senator Blas, you are recognized. We'll take a moment's recess. There is a motion to place. We are back from recess, and there is a motion to place the nomination of Kyle Anthony G. DeHelig to serve as a member, youth representative of the Guam Regional Transit Authority Board of Directors onto the session agenda. Are there any objections? Senator Tidig, will you are recognized? Thank you, Madam uh, Speaker. I can you provide us information if this individual is on the accession agenda and if they have made the uh, requirements of posting on the legislative website for these individuals? This nomination is not yet on the session agenda, but it has been cleared by the Committee on Rules and posted on the website. Madam, uh, Speaker, then I, I have to uh, object to this individual from coming onto the session floor. I think it's important that we maintain that five-day requirement, you know, regardless if it is for an individual who is being uh, confirmed by the, the body, and it does not meet the five-day requirement. Madam Speaker, if we can take a short recess to verify to make sure if there was any opportunity for this individual to have been mentioned during last week's session. Yes, we are verifying okay. now. We'll take okay, a moment's recess. Okay, thank you, recess. Madam. Thank you.
The legislature is back from recess. This nomination was cleared by the Committee on Rules and published on the website on October 29th. It was mentioned in the core meeting that it potentially may be added to the session agenda. Um, is there still an objection? Senator Brown. Madam Speaker, I'm still a little dumbfounded at the fact that we think because we discuss an issue in, in the core meeting and then we put it on our website that that constitutes public notice. If we specifically look at the law, it does outline what the requirements are to meet public notice. And sending out press releases don't constitute public notice. So I do know at the beginning of the original session that was put forth, the Speaker did publish potential bills that would be heard on the agenda and potential, uh, potential nominations that would be heard by the body or confirmed by the body. And I think in, a, in terms of good faith, we should follow that process. This legislature particularly has really gone to the far end with regards to the lack of public notice, including a number of public hearings that are never published publicly with the idea that, oh, if we do electronic, that, therefore that meets that requirement. But there's no delivery to show that the electronic media has actually distributed that information to the public. And press releases don't constitute public notice. So I'm just gonna bring that concern up and object that if these names were not listed in that original notice for this session, then I'm gonna to object to it. There has been an objection on the motion to place the nomination of Kyle Anthony G. DeHelig to serve as member, youth representative of the Guam Regional Transit Authority Board of Directors. All in favor, please raise your hand. Motion fails. Majority Leader Nelson, you are recognized.
Thank you, Madam Speaker. In light of what was brought up by the pre one of our previous colleagues, um, I will yield to Senator Perez for the legislative concurrence because as we are looking at the notifications that this was sent out by the speaker, the only appointments that were listed from the speaker's office was from the Chamorro Land Trust Commission Agency, David Herrera, Lena N. B. McDaniel, Guam Parole Board, Sean M. Mendiola from the COSAS, COSAS Board of Advisors, and Veronica M. Salas, COSAS Board of Advisors. The speaker did not mention any, any other nominations at this time. Thank you, Majority Leader Nelson. Senator Perez, you are recognized. Since it was Mossy, Madam Speaker, I move to place in the voting file from the Committee on Health, Land, Justice, and Culture the nomination of Sean M. Mendiola to serve as a member, Menhoven representative, of the COSAS Board of Advisors with a recommendation to do confirm. On the motion, are there any objections? Motion passes. Senator Perez, you are still recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I move to place in the voting file from the Committee on Health, Land, Justice, and Culture the nomination of Lena N. B. McDonald McDaniel to serve as a member of the Guam Parole Board with a recommendation to do confirm. On the motion, are there any objections? Hearing none, motion pa passes. Senator Perez, you are still recognized. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I move to place in the voting file from the Committee on Health, Land, Justice, and Culture the nomination of Veronica M. Salas to serve as a member of the COSAS Board of Advisors with a recommendation to do confirm. On the motion, are there any objections? Hearing none, motion passes. Majority Leader Nelson, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to make a motion that um, we reconsider the actions of the body for the previous nominations that I placed onto the legislative concurrence and table them until the next Committee on Rules hearing.
There's a motion to reconsider the actions of the body okay. on previously placed nominations to set them aside until the next session. Are there any objections? Um, yes, I have a point of information, Madam Speaker. Uh, this was actually placed in addition to being published. It was placed on the session agenda on the very first day of October on the October session. So that gives five, day, five days of uh, review. So it was duly noted or duly noticed via being placed on this session agenda on the very first day of session. Thank you. Senator, uh, Majority Leader Nelson, you are recognized. Just a point of order, Madam Speaker. These are the, 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 the nominations that I added for the legislative concurrence. Yes, and for the record, those are the nomination of David J.N. Camacho, Dr. Lisa Cooper Nurse, There is a motion to reconsider the actions of the body on the nominations of David J.N. Camacho to serve as a member retired teacher representative of the Guam Academy Charter School Council and the nomination of Dr. Lisa Cooper Nurse to serve as a member of the Guam Commission for Educator Certification and set those aside until the next session. Are there any objections? Hearing no objections, motion passes. We are now in the voting file. Clerk, please read the title. Bill number 217-36 LS as substituted on the floor. Introduced by Therese M. Terlahi, Tina Rose Munya Barnes, James C. Moylan, Amanda L. Shelton, V. Anthony Ada. Frank Bloss Jr., Joanne Brown, Christopher M. Duaneus, Talina Cruz Nelson, Sabina Flores Perez, Clinton E. Rogel, Joe S. San Augustine, Tello T. Tidegui, Jose Pito Terlahi, Mary Camacho Torres. An act to repeal Public Law 36-59 and Article 13.2 of Article 1, Division 1, Title 5, Guam Code Annotated, as enacted by the same and to add a new Article 13.2 to Article 1 of Division 1, Title 5 Guam Code Annotated, relative to establishing the Guam World War II Reconciliation Act of 2021 to compensate claims of the greatest generation of Guam for the atrocities suffered during the World War II occupation of Guam. Roll call. Senator Ada. Senator Ada, aye. Senator Blas. Senator Blas, aye. Senator Brown. Senator Brown, aye. Senator Duenas. Senator Duenas, aye. Senator Moylan. Senator Moylan, nay. Vice Speaker Munya Barnes. Majority Leader Nelson, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to make a motion that we excuse members not present for today's session. On the motion, hearing no objections, motion passes. Vice Speaker Munya Barnes excused. Senator Nelson. Senator Nelson, pass. Senator Perez. Senator Perez, aye. Senator Rogel. Senator Rogel, aye. Senator San Augustine. Senator San Augustine, excuse. Senator Shelton. Ahi. Senator Shelton, nay. Senator Tidegui. Senator Tidegui, aye. Senator Terlahi. Senator Terlahi, aye. Speaker Terlahi. Speaker Terlahi, excuse. Senator Torres. Senator Torres, aye. Aye. 
Senator Nelson. Senator Nelson, aye. Bill 217-36 LS received 10 ayes and 2 nays with 3 excused. Bill number 217-36 is duly passed by the body. On the nomination of Sean M. Mendiola to serve as member Minhoban representative of the COSIS Board of Advisors, all in favor please raise your hand. Sean M. Mendiola received majority support and is duly confirmed by this body. On the nomination of Lena N. B. McDaniel to serve as a member of the Guam Parole Board, all in favor, please raise your hand. Lena N. B. McDonald received majority support and is duly confirmed by this body. On the nomination of Veronica M. Salas to serve as a member of the COSIS Board of Advisors, all in favor, please raise your hand. Veronica M. Salas received majority support and is duly confirmed by this body. Colleagues, we are now in extension of remarks. If there's anyone who would like to provide brief extension of remarks. Majority Leader Nelson, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to make a motion that we adjourn until subject to the call of the Speaker. Sidious Masi, Majority Leader, on the motion to adjourn this session subject to the call of the Speaker, without any objection, we are adjourned. Sidious Masi, be safe, everyone.